Hi, um, I unfortunately, um, sometimes I get distracted by things that are negative. Um, you know, I was just watching mu music videos and various videos on YouTube and I just, one thing triggered a, a thought in my head, uh, and I just started thinking about that and I wasn't even enjoying the video I was watching. Uh, which is fine, I guess, but I just, I feel like I need to just, it's one of those things where, you know, I ye yell and I, and I rant about it, and then I don't talk about it again unless it's really important. Um, <laughs> now I'm, I'm just, I'm being distracted because there was a bunch of uh, stuff on the table, but anyway, you, I got my hair cut today, by the way, you see that, right, hey, this is basically the length that I prefer it, um, I have a pretty, I didn't go to her today, but I have a pretty good, uh, person that cuts my hair, she knows how I like it, um, and then I go in, and I get my hair cut that way, and, um, that's it. Today, I told the girl, I said, I, I want it, my hair to be cut the style that it's in right now, but shorter. And I think that's pretty straightforward. She kind of styled it a little bit. Um, but, you know, I, that was basically, you know, she seemed mid-twenties or so, you know mid to late 20s pretty young uh the girl that i go to is probably in her early 40s i think um which you know we have a good rapport this girl today she didn't really talk to me um i've heard stories i guess you'd call them horror stories of women that are i guess you'd call them a butch lesbian of what there's a term called there's well there's a term uh, it's stone butch and soft butch and this is kind of an education occasional lesson for people that are straight and just don't have many gain lots of friends soft butch is I guess I'd c consider myself a soft butch I don't bind my my breast I guess you'd say I don't do that um I don't go into the go out of my way to look male uh type of things um i don't there's oh my goodness there's something which you know a straight man probably wouldn't even uh, couldn't even wrap his head around i guess you'd say uh or any i guess straight women could sympathize but men no um there's what's called packing, which, you know, s several butch lesbians do. Um, I, I, no, I wouldn't do that. But it's basically, you know, how do I explain this? They get what it's called, I mean, sometimes it's just like a bulge in their underwear that they put, like a, like I've heard of women putting like a condom in their, in their underwear. And just filling it up with lube or filling up with some kind of um, liquid so it's movable, stressable. And then basically making that a bulge. There's several, you know, if you're curious, you can look online. Um, you know, you pay $20 or so for the little silicone. It's basically like, a, it looks like a lip penis. That's basically what it looks like. It looks like an erect penis. Wonderful, right? Uh, and then there's ones that are... You can actually have sex with that it's like partial partially hard or fully hard um and that's they feel confident with that uh, that they feel more comfortable in their own skin with that um and i can i can understand that and um i think that's better anyway uh, I've heard of women being in the line to the ladies room in a club and having excuse me 
um, having a security guard, both or male and female, walking up to them and saying, hey, I think you're in the wrong line. Can you please go in the other line? There was actually this one story where this person said that, I think it was her girlfriend at the time or a good friend of theirs, um, flashed him and said, "Is are these good enough to stand in the women's line? And then them, then the security guard blushing and saying, oh, I'm sorry, um, I bothered you. Uh, I could, no, uh-uh. You should know be better to think that I... Here you got one of those satellite internet cards, or the cell phone internet, so you can plug it into your USB and then you can get internet now. Uh, so he's bothering me on Yahoo now, which is lovely. Um, and so he's distracting the hell out of me, but anyway, um, I've never had <laughs> this one time a, an old lady at the super Walmart up, up the street, uh, I was walking out of the, and maybe you cannot imagine that knowingly, but I was walking out of the woman's room uh some people they say well it's it's easier to fake it and just go into the man's room but i wouldn't even think about doing that um but some women they say it's easier for me to go into the into the man's room um uh, uh, just to go take a piss uh, uh but some people that are transgender just like well what restroom do i go in uh it's very um hard that decision is hard for them um and people that are you know uh, uh, vanilla I guess you'd say uh, I don't think could understand but uh, um <laughs> but anyway I was walking out of the bathroom and she said oh I'm sorry and she's this older lady and she stood back and then she took a look again and then she was like like that doesn't look right because she saw me walking out of the woman's bathroom and she thought I was she was walking into the wrong bathroom because I was walking out of it which I thought was funny I still think it's funny uh, I think <laughs> uh, several people like uh, freaking out old people because old people are easily get easily confused with that kind of thing uh, but the hardest thing that I have had is definitely the haircut thing uh there are several times that i got a haircut that i didn't want um because of them just not understanding what kind of haircut i wanted it's like they can't wrap their head around a woman wanting a man's haircut they just cannot get that i have had because the easiest thing for me to do is look in one of those books the man's book because I can't find anything in the woman's book that would be something I would want. Um, something, oh well, this is a woman's haircut, but later I can recomb it and have it be the man's haircut. Uh, no, it's too feathery and layery and stuff. I just, nah. Uh, but what... I'm looking at the time, but anyway. I've had the hairdressers, I guess you'd call them, or the barber people say like I say I want this one in this book and then them saying you know that's the male book right like I can tell what a man and a woman looks like it's not like I'm mentally ill or anything I mean that's debatable but you know as far as that is concerned I know what a man looks like and I know what a woman looks like I just want my hair cut that way I mean, it's none of their business, it's their business to just, I mean, I'm paying them, right? So, I mean, I can get my hair cut like Mr. T and they, as long as they still get paid, they shouldn't care. Um, that's my opinion on the subject and it's just, you know, the woman today didn't say anything. Uh, I don't know if she knew me from coming in before or what. Uh, maybe she has a relative that is butch, I don't know, uh, that, that she's close to. Uh, it's just the... <laughs> Hold on.